Hello, I'm really glad that you could come and join me today. I've been doing a series of books about feelings. Different people have different feelings at different times and that's okay. You don't have to be happy all of the time. Sometimes you might feel sad or scared, lonely or angry, worried, jealous, happy. They're all real feelings and it's okay to feel them. Sometimes it might be that you're sad or lonely because you've moved to a new place, feeling a bit worried about meeting new people. You could be feeling sad or concerned because someone you love has moved far away and you don't know when you'll see them again. It could be that someone that you love very much has gotten sick or even worse, maybe they've died. A friend of mine recently had that happen to them. Someone they really love passed away. And they got told, well, the person you love is in heaven now. That can be really strange to think about. And you can wonder, what is heaven like? What does that mean? So I found a book that talks about a little boy who wanted to know what was heaven like. And I hope that as I read this book, that might help you too. But if it doesn't, that's okay too. You have people around you who love you. You can talk to them. Could be your mum or your dad grandparents or your best friend but if not if you would like to talk to someone else maybe more privately ask a grown-up to help you make a phone call and down below in my comments there are some phone numbers for people specially trained and specially ready to help people like you answer the questions that might be confusing them or the talk about the feelings that are really hard I hope that helps but in the meantime we're going to read this book called What's heaven like? It rained so hard today, I wondered if the sun would ever shine again. The grey sky looked the way I felt inside, sad. When the rain finally stopped, I went out and climbed up the long ladder to my tree house. I sat there. Missing Grandpa, and I wondered about heaven. My big sister came out and sat with me. We didn't say much for a long time, just stared up at the sky together. Look, I said, pointing, surprised to see a rainbow. You know what a rainbow means, don't you? My sister asked. It reminds us of God's promise never to flood the earth again. Suddenly, I remembered a promise Grandpa had made to me. Before he died, he said, don't be too sad. We'll see each other again someday. I asked what he meant, but Grandpa didn't have the chance to answer all my questions. So now I'm more curious than ever about heaven. After school the next day, my sister and I walked to the park. What's heaven like? I asked. She smiled and raced me to the swings. All the streets are made of shiny gold, she said, and there are gates with giant pearls. Oh, and lots of angels too. Will our house in heaven look like the one we live in now? I asked. I stared hard at the clouds and they became a gleaming white castle. Why do you want to know? asked my sister. Because grandpa's there and I miss him a whole bunch. She stopped swinging and looked at me. I do too. The next day, I saw the mail carrier coming up the street. Has anyone ever sent a letter to someone in heaven? I asked him. Mr. Nelson shook his head. Well, no. I think heaven's just a little too far away for that. He pointed to the sky. It's past the moon and the Milky Way too. At school, I spied the playground teacher. What's heaven like? I asked. Miss Birch smiled. Let's see. I think for a boy like you, heaven might be a place where you could stay outside and play all the time, skateboarding and swimming, riding bikes without ever getting tired. All day, I asked. Every day, she said with a twinkle in her eye. And all night too, if you want. During library time, I asked the librarian, what's heaven like? 
Mrs. Turner lowered her glasses and leaned close. I think it will be a happy place with lots of people who love you. Turning, she placed her finger over her lips and shushed two boys who were talking. Will we have to be quiet in heaven too, I asked. She smiled and whispered back, no, I think there will be plenty of joyful noise. After school, I ran to catch up with the ice cream truck. Is there yummy food in heaven, I asked the driver. Tyler grinned at me, the best ever. Will I be able to eat whatever I want, whenever I want, I asked. Sure, and everything will be good for you too. He handed me a fudge sickle, my favourite. The next day, I had my teeth cleaned and checked. I asked the dentist, will I get cavities in heaven? Dr Anne looked at me and shook her head. Your teeth will be strong and healthy, she said. No toothaches, I asked. Never. On Saturday, I watched the zookeeper feed the giraffes. Are there animals in heaven, I asked. He chuckled and tossed a bundle of hay high into the feeding racks. I can't imagine God's house without a fine puppy dog, can you? I thought of my own cuddly ki kitten and my sister's chirpy hamster. Well, I said, I guess not. God created all the animals in the first place, he said, so I wouldn't be surprised to find they live in heaven too. When I got home, I ran next door to see Mrs. Johnson working in her garden. What's heaven like, I asked. She wiped a smudge of dirt off her cheek. I think it's the most wonderful place ever, filled with perfect flowers that never wilt and not a single weed. Does it smell good there, I asked. Well, have you ever pushed your nose into a rose, she asked, or sniffed a honeysuckle bush in full bloom? I nodded. They smell just like my mum's perfume. She tapped me on the nose and said, I believe heaven is surely a sweet smelling place. After supper, I helped mum carry the dishes to the sink. I've been asking lots of people about heaven, I told her, the mailman, Miss Burge, my dentist. Mum stopped what she was doing. Honey, remember, you can always come to dad on me with questions, okay? She gave me a hug. Can look in the Bible for answers too. What would you like to know about heaven? I sat down holding my kitty. How did we get there? I asked. Mr. Nelson said heaven is far away. Mum sat near me and smoothed back my hair. Well, he's right. But it won't seem too far when it's our time to go there. We'll just close our eyes and wake up in heaven. Or if we're still living when the Lord returns, he'll take us there himself. At bedtime, Dad came to pray with me. Mum says you're asking questions about heaven. I miss Grandpa, I said, looking at the picture of him and Grandma on my bookcase. Will Grandma die too? Will you and Mum? Dad kissed my forehead. Someday all of us will, even you. But even though our bodies wear out during our years here on earth, our spirits will live forever. So part of me will keep on living, I asked. That's right, Dad said. God will give you a new body that won't grow old or get sick or ever die. After church the next day, we ate dinner at Grandma's house and then sang silly songs after dessert. Later, I snitched two extra cookies and Grandma caught me. I guess no one will be naughty in heaven, I said, watching her face carefully. She shook her head. There's no room for even the smallest sin where God lives, Grandma said. And we all make plenty of mistakes here on earth. She gave me a squeeze. You're welcome to the cookie, sweetie. But how about asking first next time? I nodded, my face warm. I'm sorry, Grandma. And then I asked, are you ever sad about Grandpa? She glanced out of the window and I saw a sudden tear in her eye. I miss his tender hugs and his crooked smile, yes. But most of all, I miss our talks. But you'll be with him again in heaven someday? She smiled. Yes, dear one. What do you think he's doing now, I asked. Oh, your grandpa was never one to sit still for long. 
I'm sure he's keeping busy having a never-ending adventure. I felt real happy for Grandpa, but awful sad for me. I wish I could visit Grandpa, I said. Grandma sat quietly, and then she said, You'll see Grandpa again when it's your turn to go to heaven, but I think you have some important things to do here first, just as we all do. I thought about that. Will the angels keep him company until I get there? Oh, yes. There are lots of people, too, who have gone, who have been eagerly waiting to see him. Grandma touched my cheek. Grandpa is not lonely at all. Will I look like myself in heaven, I asked. She laughed softly. Well, sure. How else will I know you? That's good, I said. So when I go to heaven, will Grandpa be able to find me? Yes, and I know he'll be so excited to see you again. Does Grandpa still pray a lot, I asked, touching his worn Bible. Grandma's face lit up. I think so. But now he can talk to God face to face. Wow, Grandpa must love that. You're right. I'm sure that being close to our Heavenly Father is like opening a special present every single day. I closed my eyes, thinking very hard. Knowing that God was spending time with Grandpa and that he would do the same with me someday, that was the best promise of all. How do I know if I'll go to heaven when I die, I asked. Grandma smiled. Well, God's only son, the Lord Jesus, came to our world as a tiny baby. Then when Jesus grew to be a man, when it was just the right time, he died to take away our sins. God must love us a lot to let his son do that. He certainly does. Grandma pulled her chair close to me. God wants us to love him back. But the choice is ours. We can either obey him or go our own way. If you believe in Jesus and trust him to forgive your sins, you can be sure that you are going to heaven. I reached for her hand. I think heaven will be the best and happiest place to live, don't you? Grandma nodded. Imagine the most exciting day, like your birthday or how you felt the first time you hit a home run. Well, that's only a small peek into what heaven will be like, I'm sure. And here's a scripture about heaven. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has known what God has prepared for those of us who love him. I know a lot more about heaven now, I said. It's God's promise to me, to all of us, just like Grandpa promised. We'll see each other again. I hope that that's helpful to you. Maybe answered some questions you had about what heaven is like and what happens when the people we love die and go to heaven. If you have any more questions, I'm sure there are people who love you very much who would be happy to answer them. But it's okay to feel sad. So if you're having a sad day, that's okay. Just remember that you're very special and very loved. I'm looking forward to having you come back here again sometime soon. Take care. Bye for now.